Back in the side, back in uh, a relatively new position for you, but it's coincided with some really great results. How, how are you feeling about everything at the moment? I'm really enjoying it. Um, really enjoying my football at the moment. Been working hard, obviously, behind the scenes, and I obviously haven't been involved as much as I'd like to over the whole season, but still been coming in with the right attitude. I believe that I need to, to be thrown in or get a chance where, wherever possible, and I think to come, the chance to come at left back and have, I really enjoyed it. The manager's actually said recently that, that you were close to leaving us on, on deadline day. That, that obviously didn't happen and now you're not just still here, you're in the team and you're playing a really important part. I mean, what, what did you say to yourself on sort of in early February about, I am still here, now I need to force myself back in? Listen, it was a thing where at the time it wasn't like I, I wanted to leave. It was just sometimes you've got to look at the best option for your career playing. Obviously at the time I wasn't wasn't playing too much. Um, I was out of squads, so thinking about obviously my career and then the, putting myself in the best possible position, that was the best thing at the time. Like I've always wanted to succeed here. Like when I signed here in the summer and put the team as high as up that table as possible and potentially get in the playoffs and get this club to the championship. I suppose everything does happen for a reason, doesn't it? And now you are back in and you are playing at left back, I mean, a position, like you said, you haven't played too many times before. How much are you enjoying playing at left back? No, I'm really enjoying it, really enjoying it. Um, it can be a bit more expansive than centre back, um, but at the same time, I'm more of a reserved full back. I'm not like a up and down or, or the whole 90. So um, it really helps with the balance of the team, I think. You say you're reserved, although I do remember on Saturday there was a time in the first half where you knocked the ball past your fullback and sprinted past him. And since Saturday, I've actually seen a couple of fans on social media have nicknamed you Torelto Carlos. How does that make you feel? <laughs> oh, it's great. It's, it's nice to be um, compared to or looked at like in the same light as a footballing legend. I don't think I've got quite a left foot strike as he had, but um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take that. We have seen a couple of couple of assists from you since you've come back into the side. One was a, a nice little flick and Saturday, I'll actually, I'll describe how, how we described it to you. So Morgan intercepts, Thomas clears the ball up to Lee Byrne and he does the rest, drilling into the bottom corner from 22 yards in front of the covered end. Did we do you a little bit of a disservice there? Massive, massive disservice. It wasn't a clearance. I've actually, when the ball's coming, I've seen that oh, the, play, the Shrewsbury player's going to miss it. And I've looked up to see like where Miles is and I've seen him running behind and I've I've actually looked to play him in behind when he's got onto it and he still had a, quite a bit to do, to be fair to him, like it's a great finish. But um, yeah, I think there was a bit of an injustice there done with the description of the type of pass to Miles. And how, just how enjoyable was Saturday as a whole for you to get the assist and also for yeah. it to come in such a big win? Great. Like, those are games that you want to be involved in. Um, yeah, you can't really, nothing more else to say. I think you've asked a lot of questions to other people. The gaffer's probably said everything. Um, that it's a fantastic game, but we just need to uh, keep that momentum, which that gives us going into uh, going into Friday. Obviously, different opposition, we're playing away. And obviously, the fans will be there behind us. So, um, putting another strong, energetic um, performance with lots of quality and unbelief will come away with the, the result that we want. And Saturday, just lastly on Saturday, it came at the end of a, a busy couple of weeks for you, didn't it? With your international duty as well. I mean, you must be in a really positive place at the moment at club level and international level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're putting in some good performances here at Charlton and we've won a good few games over the last four or five. So, um, yeah, everything's positive, really. And then international level, we're through to the uh, Gold Cup qualifiers in June. So that's something for me to look forward to and I believe that we can get to the get to the Gold Cup finals which will be massive for, for the country and football. And back to Charlton on to Friday comes at the start of a, a busy weekend, the Easter weekend of game on Friday and then on, on Monday. How much are you looking forward to, to Friday's game first of all against Bristol Rovers which where you'll be backed by a sold out away end? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really up for it. The boys are 
the whole team's really up for it. Everyone's in good spirits. Like the, the squad as a whole is really, really together. And we're, we're, we're ready to travel down there and, and put on a performance and give our everything, lots of tempo and energy and quality to help us win the game. And just lastly, so we had our academy day a few, a uh, couple of weeks ago where I know you would have gone through this when you were younger, where you walk around the, the perimeter of the pitch. You're now in the position where you've gone from that, you're now out on the pitch. When you did rejoin, you said, all I've ever wanted to do is, is play for Charlton. You're now, you're now doing that. Now, what, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it's a bit of a mini, mini dream that I had, obviously, when I'm young. When you're younger, you just look at, I came in here when I was 14. You're looking at the first team and um, like they're sort of idols and obviously being ball boy from when I was young, you wanna you wanna get on that pitch one day and play for Charlton. So for me it's a and it's an achievement that I've made for myself from when I was younger that I've always wanted to do. But in terms of um, the club moving forward, I've always said that I wanted to get a promotion with uh, with Charlton Athletics. So hopefully that's something we can do. I, I can tick off in the future.